everyone and welcome to Ask Kitten Lady. This is where you can ask me all of your questions about kitten fostering. You can submit a video question at kittenlady.org slash ask and I just might answer it right here. Let's get started with our first question which is from Kim. Hi Kitten Lady, so my question for you is I have two resident cats but I would love to start fostering. How do I set everyone up for success? Kim, first of all, your cat is so cute. I am really excited to hear you're thinking about fostering kittens. It is so needed. I also love that you're thinking about what's best for your resident cats. A lot of people assume that it is not possible for them to foster kittens if they also have cats at home. But the good news is most people who foster do have cats of their own. So here are a few quick tips for you. Tip number one is make sure that you plan for a quarantine space for your kittens. A quarantine space can be a bathroom, a laundry room, or even a covered playpen in your living room or bedroom. You don't have to have a ton of space, but you do want to keep them contained. Remember that when you're taking in newly rescued kittens, they can have a variety of medical issues like parasites or upper respiratory infections. So you don't want anybody booping noses or sharing litter boxes until you know that everybody is healthy. Be sure that you're using separate supplies and washing your hands between visiting with your fosters and your personal animals, at least for the first two weeks while you're getting to know them and observing their health. Once you've had the kittens for at least two weeks, if they're healthy, stable, and have had some of that important preventative care like deworming, you could consider introducing them to your cats, but just know that most cats are not interested in that. And that's okay. My second piece of advice is to make it easy for the cats to avoid the kittens. Of course, that's simple to do if you have a room with a door that closes, like a guest room or even a bathroom. But if you're going for a playpen in the corner of your living room, just make sure that you're putting it as far away from your cat's preferred area as possible. Let's say that your cats love a cat tree in this corner. You're gonna wanna put the playpen on the other side of the room so that your cats can avoid having to go over there. The thing is that cats are typically avoidant rather than aggressive when given the choice. So make sure that you're giving them the option of avoiding the kittens, and they probably will. You could also consider increasing vertical space by adding another cat tree or some cat shelves for your personal cats so they feel like they have another place to escape and be safe. My third piece of advice is to keep your cats up to date on their vaccines and dewormer. This is important for all cats, of course, but especially for cats who are at higher risk of disease exposure because of kittens coming in and out of the house. My fourth and final piece of advice is to manage your expectations. Fostering is so temporary that it's not really a priority to integrate your cats and your kittens and have this perfect lasting bond. Look at it as a babysitting gig and everybody's going to be much happier for it. Of course, every cat is different. My cats Coco and Eloise really don't like foster kittens and that's okay. I give them the option to avoid them and they do. My cats Haroon and Ferguson, on the other hand, love foster kittens. So with them, I do allow them to interact with the kittens once they are past quarantine and healthy. Ultimately, the only way to know how your cats will respond is to give it a try. So my advice for you is to head to your local shelter's website, reach out to them about signing up as a foster parent, and give it a shot just for a couple of weeks. Kitten season is just around the corner, and so many kittens are going to be counting on people like you to sign up and foster them. So thank you for your interest in saving their lives, and I wish you the best of luck on your fostering journey.